Welcome. If you are new to Zendesk email support and want a quick overview, this introduction is for you. You'll learn about some of the features Zendesk's foundational support ticketing system offers to help your customers prioritize tickets and reduce the amount of time spent on easy requests. My name is Christina and I'll be walking you through this introduction today. So how can Zendesk foundational support help you meet your needs? As an admin, managing your support operations can prove challenging. For your customers, you want to make sure that they can easily get in touch, that an agent is taking care of their requests, and that they can always tell you how they feel about your service. And for your agents, you want them to have all the information they need to help your customers. You want them to be able to prioritize tickets and to reduce the amount of time they spend on easy answers, so that they can devote more time to harder to solve problems. To understand how foundational support can help you meet those business needs, let's take a look at Rin. Rin is going to host a party next week, and so they need to order food from their favorite food delivery company, EatWell. They use EatWell often for quick meals during the week, but now they need to pre-order for their party. Rin saw on EatWell's frequently asked questions to send an email for pre-order requests, so they send an email requesting pizza for 25 people and that email becomes a ticket in Zendesk. A ticket is a record of the conversation between an agent and an end user. You might know a ticket as a case or a support request. Email is one of the channels you can use in Zendesk and the one we focus on in this training. To start receiving customers' requests, you can create one or more support addresses from the admin settings. You can even connect support to one of your existing corporate addresses. It's a good idea to create a support address for each of your departments if you have a few that are customer facing. Here, you can see that EatWell does that. Just after Rin's email becomes a ticket in Zendesk, they receive an automatic first reply. It's a notification that tells them their request has been received and somebody from the team will get back to them. Let's take a look at what happens on the agent's end while Rin waits for an agent to connect with them. When an agent opens up their Zendesk, they'll see a list of tickets. In Zendesk, these lists are called views. Views group tickets based on criteria that you define. Using views will help your team prioritize their work. As an admin, you can create global views for your teams. You can create a view for unsolved tickets that are assigned to specific groups, a view for new tickets, and much more. Agents can also create personal views. They can create one that shows a list of tickets where they received a bad satisfaction rating. That could give them an opportunity to review the tickets and learn from those interactions. Here in EatWell, the first view in the list is the unassigned tickets. And the first ticket is the one sent by Rin. An agent opens the ticket simply by clicking it. And here's what Rin's ticket looks like in Zendesk. Ticket fields provide your agents additional information about the customer's request. Some of these are system fields, and others are custom fields created by an admin in this instance. Additionally, as you can see, some are pre-filled, while others are filled by your agents. The Customer Contacts panel provides past interactions and information about the customer. With Ticket Fields and the Customer Contacts panel, your agents are able to have more information about the ticket and the customer before they start responding. This can help improve resolution time and customer satisfaction. In the middle of the ticket, you can see the conversation between customers like Rin and your agents. Here, the agent can reply to Rin or leave a note for an internal contact or colleague. Macros can save your agents time because they enable your agents to update tickets with scripted answers and predefined actions in just one step, giving them back time to focus on more challenging issues. As an admin, you can create macros for your agents for the most common answers. As with views, agents can also be given permissions to create their own macros. Once the agent has answered Rin's request, they will submit the ticket using one of the available statuses. Since we need more information from Rin, we will submit the status as pending. Once the agent gets all the information they need, they can set the status as solved. 
So far, you've learned about many features like views and macros that you can set up for your agents to make their work more efficient. There are two more we'd like to show you before we wrap up this introduction, and those are triggers and automations. Triggers allow you to monitor and act on tickets automatically based on an event. Triggers are the engine behind many ticket updates and notifications, like the one Rin received after emailing EatWell. That notification was sent automatically thanks to a trigger. Automations take action after a certain amount of time and if certain conditions have been met. Unlike triggers, they are time-based. For example, 24 hours after Rin's request is set to solved, Zendesk can send them a survey via email asking about their customer experience while ordering pizza for their party. In this introduction, you learned about some of the features Zendesk's foundational support offers to increase your team's productivity and improve your customer's experience. There is a lot more to explore as you learn to use and optimize your Zendesk.